The debate over language is always making news. A survey of California voters this week found that 69% supported a ballot measure that would end bilingual education in the state's public schools. For 25 years now, California has assigned Spanish-speaking children to separate bilingual classes. It's a policy that has been very seriously criticized of late, and it is now in serious jeopardy. Here's ABC's Michelle Norris. For children who grow up in neighborhoods like this one in Santa Ana, Spanish is almost the only language they ever hear. And the same is true when they get to school. Students learn reading and math and other subjects in Spanish, while gradually picking up English. Okay. Carlos, can you continue reading for us? We need to, to start them in the primary language so that they can understand and, and develop those concepts that they need at each grade level so that eventually they will be able to enter an English program and become successful. But success stories are rare. 1.3 million California children are enrolled in bilingual classes. That's nearly a quarter of the state's public school enrollment. But each year, only 6% of those students are able to make the transition into classes taught primarily in English. Um, we did. The rest remain on a separate academic track all through high school. The system is so obviously unworkable that it has to be changed. Ron Unz has collected enough signatures to place a measure on next year's ballot that would virtually eliminate bilingual instruction. The Republican millionaire says the program is the reason that Hispanic students have the lowest test scores and highest dropout rate in the state. Unless you can speak English, read English, and write English in our society, you can't get a good job. And the parents of these children know that. Under the measure, children who don't speak English would have one year of intense language immersion. I'm big, and what are you? Little. Little. At Taft Elementary School in Santa Ana, they're already using the immersion program, and it's working there. Test scores are some of the highest in the district. They can read, they can write, they can speak, and they do all of this by the end of first grade. But critics say too much is expected from children who speak only Spanish in their homes. If you're a child who cannot master English in one year, then you're going to fall behind, both in terms of your academic performance and in terms of your self-esteem and what school has to offer you. Alejandra Cervantes took bilingual classes and never mastered English, but her son Luis is faring much better in the immersion program. There are only two months that he went to that he comes to school and he does very good English, better than me. <laughs> The one thing everyone agrees on is the importance of learning English. The mouse ran up the clock. Yes, yes, yes. How that happens in California classrooms will be decided by the state's voters next June. Michelle Norris, ABC News, Santa Ana, California. Yes.